Scrap hound. Let's go Oilers. But now that you're here, I see that the thumbnail sparked your interest. Now I was sitting on Facebook the other day, scrolling along, and I came across a picture from an e-waste group that I follow showing these golden balls in a vial. Well, I had to click. Reading through the comments, there was a picture of what contains these mystical golden balls. And I thought, heck, somewhere in the scrap shed, I have one of those. So I put on my boots and my winter coat, grabbed my flashlight, and went out to the shed. And here it is. So I'm gonna ask right now, if you think that you know where the golden balls are hiding, go to the comments, drop your answer down below. I'll wait for the e-waste gurus out there. Maybe wait till the end of the video. Don't spoil it. So did y'all get your answers in the comments below? If not, I'll wait one more second. Cruising down a back road and guess what I see? I spotted a can. That's really nice to me. All right. Let's get down to stripping this board and finding them golden balls. So we'll start with removing the wires off. Oh, was it the red wire or the blue wire? Oh. Oh. Red wire, no blue wire. Red wire, blue wire, blue wire. <laughs> Just kidding. Now I'll get the wires out of the way. Just so the board's a little flatter to work with. That's when you bulk right in the way. That took way too much time, didn't it? Alright. So first things first. Pull these little guys off, revealing some really nice gold pins there, which has cutters to take off, gold pins, but if you lift up on this little plasticky piece here, if you can get your cutters below it, and then that keeps them together, then get underneath Cut them. And then they stay together. Put those in a jar for some gold recovery. So same thing on this one. Just kind of, if you can, get the plastic piece to pop up. This one might not. Oh. <laughs> anyway, these little cutters aren't very sharp, it appears. Now inside of these parts that were on top, there is uh, some gold plated metal in there, <clears throat> some gold in these guys. Yeah, dig it out. Moving on. Had a nice little heat sink here. We'll check it quick just to make sure that it's aluminum. Magnet. Does not stick, so it's good. Just pop that off. And we'll bend it up. One of the two. Usually these just <clears throat> pull off the moffets. Hmm. There we go. 
There's a little bit of uh, painted aluminum going to your uh, dirty sheet. Aluminum. You get a uh, little Moffet Moffets here. <clears throat> These guys are uh, plated copper. The light might be hard for you to see, but oh, cut that guy off. Yeah, he's on the floor now. Take off this little tab. I was holding the heat sink down, and it's not magnetic, so take the file in. To check that's uh, some pleated brass and a little pleated brass thing there toss that in there same as these guys uh, there's a little tab on there it's just a plated brass we'll, uh, Relay box is off. So in there you can see it's got uh, a little bit of plate, plated copper. There's a little spool of copper in here. It's maybe on this side you can see a little better, sorry. You can throw that copper into your number two or uh, sheet copper, depending on your yard. Hmm. Sometimes they pop right off, sometimes they hold on really well. Here. So inside this one, same thing, right? Oh. It's copper. And a copper spool. That's a pretty tiny <clears throat> amount of wire in there. Really fine. This one's pulled more apart, so I can show you better, but. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's just a real fine hair wire. So I'll move that stuff to the side. Put all the goodies that we keep over here. Plastic bits over there. Not much else on here that I do keep. I'll pull these screws off. <laughs> Just to see if they're magnetic, they are. They go into your shred. We'll check in here. Wish that magnet doesn't quite reach there, but just to check to see if those pieces here are magnetic and they're not. So like pliers, maybe they pull off easily. with or poke with maybe straighten those tabs I 
You don't want to just push out. Yeah, it's all a little tedious stuff. Also can be awkward. Trying to watch what you're doing and filming, watching the camera. <laughs> Before you get any further, check to see if that's a brass or... It does have the yellow color in there, so it definitely will be brass. When you're tearing this stuff apart for yourselves, it'll be a lot faster. Yeah, give it a file, your best friend, and that'll tell you what it is, always. To get the gist, I'll have to pull that out afterwards. Close the knife up. Safety third. <clears throat> In here, there would probably be a same thing, uh, plated brass plugs. So if you cut the back side little tabs that hold that plastic bracket on, it should just pop off rather easily. Should. <laughs> Work a little bit. That. Once again, grab your file. And they are brass. And just file the other side. And giving it always a file that, uh, you know, if the scrapyard goes through your smaller brass pieces like this, you know, I'll be picking those off the floor. Small pieces, then it shows that you've uh, checked it yourself. Safety fourth. Didn't want to catch one of ooh, catch one of those in the eye. Little needles. All right, that gets rid of those. Throw the plastic in with my rest of my plastic recycling. I believe that's a piece of plastic. That is definitely plastic. It's all on the floor now. <laughs> so there, these little guys, pieces, we'll throw into the brass bucket. Let me know if you have to separate white plated brass from yellow plated brass to your yard. Some yards are different. I always like to know what uh, <clears throat> different yards, how they accept materials. So if you want, if you keep your IC chips, this one is marked with a U, but I believe that that is the same thing. I used to keep them, I don't keep them so much anymore. But, now we're here. We're at the moment. The moment we've all been waiting for. The gold balls. So, 
pop that open. Very little switch pieces. Get rid of the little switch pieces. Try not spill them here, if you guys can see. But inside that switch, and dip switch, I believe it they are, and little gold balls. So, when I find these switches, I'm going to, not all of them have the gold balls, sometimes they'll have a, just a silver contact. But uh, definitely something worth keeping an eye out. I think they're neat. And I uh, wanted to show that to you guys. And then, with your wire here, we'll move this board up here. Clean up the wire ends. I think I'll be retiring these little cutters here soon. My yard doesn't like the plastic ends on the wires, so I throw them into a separate bucket. And there is brass. You can also pull out a brass part. It's not all that hard to do. And for this wire, I'll just check quick to with a pair of wire strippers to make sure if it's a plain copper or if it's a plated copper and it is a plated copper tinned copper I suppose little file on the end and that way if they go through your wire <clears throat> there's no uh, second guessing on what you have my face probably into the <laughs> view for you guys sometimes it's like working with the two of the same hands you can do this stuff off camera <laughs> generally a lot more fluid I don't know what uh, still getting used to doing this in front of the camera I guess yeah my yard they actually do appreciate it when you uh, strip the ends it takes a little bit of time you don't have to but uh, it lets everybody definitely know so I'll throw those into my tinned copper wire at uh, like a 60% because it's just one layer of insulation on those guys <clears throat> and then here be a little brass generally a brass connector be a plated plated brass sometimes they are like a plated copper I was looking that up. They say it's a beryllium copper mix. I mean, those cutters are not good at all. <laughs> the struggle is real. Anyway, that gets that peeled open enough, so you can see they're kind of a pain to peel open. The file. Nice plated brass. Boom. So that can be stripped down, thrown into your plated brass. You get uh, 
clean up the rest of this plastic pieces from the switch here. Move them out of the way. Now there are little uh, springs and such underneath those white pieces from the red switch. So you need to throw those into your uh, shred. Yeah, I'll be getting a little vial, putting those gold balls into the vial, and putting them in for a collection. Cheers, everyone. I just wanted to share that one with you. If you like this one, smash the like button, drop a comment down below, give me some constructive criticism. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.